I got 99 apps and Coda is definitely one that people keep asking me to make a video about. In this one, we're gonna chat through three different tips that will increase your Coda productivity 2000 fold. So it's no secret that Coda has some really great functionality from a formula perspective, but they actually have done a lot of improvements recently on the formula end. If you go in here and press open, what you'll notice is a much different format than if you were to use something like Notion. If we take a look at what Notion has, I won't lie to you, this is really disappointing. Looking at this, awful. Who would wanna look at that or edit in that? But within Coda, you're able to do something just a bit different. For example, if I were to put an if function within here and press this, I'd be able to still see how an if function and the examples work. When I'm in here, I have to be on an if function to see the examples. The second I go away from it, it goes away. This is unbeatable in comparison. It gives you examples on the bottom. You can untick the details and give you more options. It'll show you what you can do. So let's do a formula, shall we? So let's say I wanted to utilize this status formula, right? And within here, I'm just gonna make two tabs to look at it a little bit better. Let's go into this formula and edit the column. We go into the full page. So we can see that within here, there is a due date. So if status equals, it gives us good ideas here. It gives you the different options within here. This is not something you can do in Notion. Equals completed and tab due date is greater than today, which is exactly what I wanted to do, by the way. That was a very good idea. What I can do then is put then, if true, it's showing me in context with what I'm doing, what I need to keep doing. I can put on time. Then outside of that, I can put comma else late. And I can bracket that together. You can see right here, since the due date's after today, then late. Now the logic behind that, the fact that I probably needed to put a different thing in there for like actually completed date, let's call this completed date. And then we could obviously subtract from due date, those sort of things. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I was trying to showcase. Just realized that I failed my own logic just now, but I hope that this proves that the formula editor is much better within here. As it gives you more ideas along the way, it has better logic associated to it. It gives you examples of things and you can click on them within them and you can see the examples while not even on them as well. It, it is just a much better experience than the Notion one. But something that's pretty interesting that you can do within Coda that you can't do with a Notion is very similar to what you can do with the formula property and that's actually expand upon the text editor within a column and do rich text editing within that. So for example, you see backslash, I have the same markdown functionality. I can add people within here similar to what Notion can do, but I can do H2s. I can put an entire task notes breakdown within here. I can color these different things, have a bulleted checklist, example checklist, and actually edit them to what I want. And after pressing done here, obviously this can be something that can get a little bit on your nerves. So I can change this to press unwrap text and then hide it. But then within here, I can double click and open it, or I can double click and then press this rich text editor. So this is just another option that really is cool within Coda that Notion just doesn't have. And the last thing is you, you can use buttons for recurring tasks. That's all, I'm not gonna even get into that. I'm still kind of mad at Notion about it because I'm the Grinch of productivity. That's gonna stick. And what else is gonna stick <laughs> is you can check out this video right here.